Military technology is changing rapidly. Things that used to be in movies are now real. From super-fast missiles to smart robots, wars are getting different. These new tools are very powerful, but we also need to think about if they are good or bad for the world. One of these technologies is hypersonic weapons. These are a class of advanced military technology designed to travel at speeds greater than Mach 5. It is five times the speed of sound. There are mainly two types. One is hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and the second is hypersonic cruise missiles, HCMs. These weapons are considered game changers. This is due to their speed, agility, and the difficulty of intercepting them. HGVs are launched from a rocket before gliding toward their target. The US has been developing the long-range hypersonic weapon which recently passed a successful flight test in June 2024 after previous setbacks due to mechanical issues. HCMs are powered by high-speed jet engines throughout their flight. They can sustain hypersonic speeds. These weapons offer greater flexibility in terms of launch platforms and targeting. Various countries are investing in hypersonic technology. The United States, China, and Russia are leading in this arms race. Another key technology is advanced stealth technology. It is also known as low observability technology. It is a combination of techniques and materials used to reduce the visibility of military assets. This protects aircrafts, ships, submarines, and ground vehicles from radar, infrared, sonar, and other detection methods. The goal is to make these assets harder to detect and track. Hence, it helps in increasing their survivability in hostile environments. Stealth aircraft like the B-21 Raider and F-35 utilize unique shapes to deflect radar waves away from the radar source. This minimizes their radar cross-section. Smooth, blended surfaces and angled edges are common features. Radar absorbent materials are used to cover surfaces. This involves absorbing radar waves rather than reflecting them. Some aircraft often feature non-circular exhaust ports. They inject cold air into the exhaust to mix with hot gases. This reduces the infrared signature. Autonomous drones and AI-powered warfare are revolutionizing modern combat. It introduces new levels of efficiency and precision. These drones can operate independently or in swarms. They are equipped with advanced AI algorithms to navigate, target, and engage without human intervention. This technology is being extensively used in the Russia-Ukraine war. It showcased their ability to monitor enemy movements, gather intelligence, and execute attacks autonomously. The psychological impact on troops knowing they are constantly surveilled adds a new dimension to warfare. A significant example is the development of autonomous drones by Ukrainian manufacturers. They aim to produce millions of drones to bolster their defense capabilities. The integration of AI allows these drones to make real-time decisions. It increases their effectiveness on the battlefield. This technology also has ethical concerns. It raises questions about accountability and the morality of allowing machines to make life and death decisions. Directed energy weapons represent advanced military technology. It has the potential to change the defense systems. These weapons utilize concentrated energy to damage or disable targets. The operation is done with pinpoint accuracy and minimal collateral damage. Laser-based DEWs such as the Israeli Iron Beam use high-energy lasers. They use them to intercept and destroy incoming threats like drones, rockets, and mortars. These weapons have a remarkably low cost per shot. Iron Beam has demonstrated its capability to neutralize threats effectively and affordably. It costs only $3.50 per shot. The U.S. military is also advancing its laser weapon capabilities. Programs like the Optical Dazzling Interdictor, Navy Odin, and Helios are being used. Cyber warfare capabilities have a broad range of technologies. These are employed by nation states and organizations. In this field, offensive and defensive operations are done in cyberspace. Offensive capabilities include actions like deploying malware and launching distributed denial-of-service (DDoS) attacks. These are to disrupt or gain unauthorized access to adversary systems. Offensive operations aim to compromise, degrade, or destroy target networks. They are used to gather intelligence or sabotage critical infrastructure. Defensive capabilities are used in defending against cyber threats. They secure networks, systems, and data from unauthorized access or attacks. This includes the use of firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and encryption. Defense strategies also include incident response planning and the development of robust cybersecurity policies to mitigate risks. 
Advanced surveillance and reconnaissance systems are important components in modern military operations. These systems provide real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR capabilities. This helps the armed forces to gather and process information. It is then used for strategic and tactical decision-making. The U.S. Air Force is developing advanced sensors designed for all-weather ISR missions. These sensors have the ability to detect and track targets in various environmental conditions. Maritime reconnaissance and surveillance technology is evolving. This is to address the unique challenges of monitoring vast oceanic areas. These advancements include the usage of unmanned systems such as drones and autonomous underwater vehicles. These systems are equipped with advanced sensors and communication systems. These integrated systems enhance the ability to gather, process, and disseminate information across multiple domains. This ensures seamless operational coordination. Electromagnetic railguns represent an advancement in military technology. They use electromagnetic energy to accelerate projectiles to extremely high speeds. It can reach up to Mach 7. This process requires substantial power, which is typically ranging from tens to hundreds of megawatts. The current prototypes, such as the one at the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Dahlgren, Virginia, use a 32 megajoule system capable of firing projectiles up to 110 nautical miles. These systems rely on large capacitor banks to store and rapidly discharge the necessary energy. Railguns can precisely strike targets within a range of 100 to 200 nautical miles. The projectiles can reach altitudes of around 500,000 feet and use GPS technology for navigational control. The time of flight to the target is approximately six minutes. Developing railguns involves overcoming several challenges. This includes ensuring the barrel's durability against the intense electric current and heat generated during firing. Japan's Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency ATLA, has made significant strides in railgun technology. In 2023, they conducted the first shipboard firing test of a railgun. They demonstrated its potential for defending vessels against air and surface threats. This test aligns with Japan's Defense Build-Up Program, which prioritizes the development of railgun technology to counter various airborne threats. Recent advancements in underwater and naval innovations have significantly enhanced. They help in maritime operations, particularly in autonomous systems and unmanned underwater vehicles. One prominent development is the acquisition of advanced Hugen Autonomous Underwater Vehicles by the U.S. Navy. These AUVs were developed by Kongsberg Discovery. This includes models like the Hugen Endurance and Hugen Superior. They are known for their extended operational ranges and capabilities in mine countermeasures, seabed warfare, and seafloor mapping. The Royal Navy has also made strides by incorporating additional Remus UUVs. This enhances their underwater exploration and surveillance capabilities. The Remus 100 and Remus 300 models are equipped with advanced sensors. These are versatile tools for a variety of maritime missions, including reconnaissance and mine countermeasures. As military technology continues to push boundaries, it is crucial to consider the implications for security and ethics. Where do you think these advancements will lead us? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing insights into the world of technology.